again guys back with another unboxing from my latest order from cubes.com and here's the next one out of the box now I've, I've got a rough idea what this one is but I've got a few in a similar vein on the way so I don't know exactly which one of them this one is at least I think this was <laughs> I've actually got a few orders on the way and I can't remember exactly which puzzle was win within which order but yeah I can see on the box what this is going to be in the gap through the box lovely uh, Lan Lan Wind Talkers brand puzzle I'm always trying to figure out what this says I can't I, I've got a lot, quite a few of these boxes but I've never been able to figure out it looks like nuts or something <laughs> but anyway go to the other side so we don't want to want to open as you know your puzzles might be able to see by now what this is sorry for knocking the camera there so this is the cane cube it's a 4x4 shape mod so basically all the edges and corners are truncated the corners have become one colour um, the edges have become one colour so this has actually got multiple solved states so you know I can turn it like this as a in a two by two kind of way and it doesn't actually become unsolved um, so basically you've got to build up kind of blocks around the corner um, I have sold one similar to this it's not this actual puzzle um, it is the octahedron but it works pretty much the same way I believe yeah I mean, this is like a typical land land puzzle it turns okay it's not fabulous but it's certainly not terrible on those layers at least let's see what these are like these turn absolutely great actually these turn really well these outer layers in fact they turn slightly better than the centre layers um, they're, yeah, they're, they're very very good so yeah but this is one of the puzzles I've wanted for quite some time um, and once again I, I've I've got lots of shape mods um, most of them are 3x3 three three, but I wanted to collect all the mass produced 4x4 four four shape mods that are out there and obviously this is one of those um, quite a few of them have kind of different stickering on them like this one that makes them a bit more challenging than just a regular shape mod would be um, it's not too difficult I don't think if, see if I remember how to solve the the way I went about the octahedron one that's basically the same as this but a different shape then hopefully I'll be able to solve this one without too much trouble um, it's kind of shaped like the 3x3 three three mask cube and uh, the way the corners and edges are but the corners are single colour whereas on the mask cube there I've got three colours so it's slightly different in that respect. So yeah, let's give this a scramble. I'll go away and solve it and let you know my final thoughts later on. I always say that I'll go away and solve it. I'll go and hope I'll solve it, of course, generally speaking. Um, it's not absolutely always the case that I can go away and solve them just as simply as that some of the ones I unbox and say I'll go away and solve it <laughs> it's actually a couple of days at least before I can come back and say okay it's solved <laughs> but yeah if I could just go away and solve every puzzle I got then it wouldn't be so much fun would it you know I mean, the, the whole p point of it the whole fun of it is figuring out how to solve the things alright then so I think that's pretty much scrambled right there uh, hope the orange is looking a bit unscrambled let's fix that but yeah you definitely have to solve things in different order on this one I think because otherwise you've no idea what colours are meant to go where but then of course you don't need to because you don't have to have the same four colour centres in fact you have four different colour centres and it doesn't matter which ones you've got because of those multiple solved states ok then, I think I'm going to call that scramble for now guys uh, I'll go away and solve it and I'll get back to you later thanks very much for watching ok then, so as you can see I've now got the cane ball solved again um, took me a little while to remember how to do it actually uh, as I said I've solved one similar before and it did solve the same way for, as I thought but it's been quite a while since I solved that other one and so it took me a while to figure out exactly how I needed to go about it again but once I had it it fell into place again 
relatively quickly once I kind of wrap my head around what in, what I was doing. Um, see, the difficulty is with these, you don't do any edge pairing because, you know, it's, you've got blue and grey together there, but you can also have blue next to green sort of thing. So edge pairing is pretty meaningless on this. So you have to find a, another way to approach it, which I did. Um, I might tell you a little bit at the end of the video about how I go about it, um, but I don't want to spoil this for anybody who doesn't want to see how to solve this. Um, turning wise, it's okay, as I said in the earlier part of the video, uh, but there isn't really much, you get a little bit, but not much corner cutting to speak of, so you end up having to have things lined up really well before they'll turn, especially on the middle layers, and if you have it there, there's absolutely zero corner cutting on the middle two layers. On the, so you really have to make sure things are lined up which is a little annoying at times but it's not terrible or anything but as long as they are lined up things turn perfectly well and because it's not shape shifting then you know you don't really have any difficulty lining things up uh, the one thing about this that I did have a slight issue with is something that's common with things that are shaped with angles in general with puzzles I think you, you're working on something you've got a grip around the back of an angled surface and suddenly that surface spins like, like that and the cube flies out of your hands, you've no idea where you were, you're halfway through an algorithm, can't remember which way up the cube was in your hand and you end up having to kind of resolve some stuff which is a bit annoying but other than that, you know, that's that's down to being careful yourself of course but yeah, I find I, I've done that a number of times with cubes with angles on them. But yeah, it's, it's actually a really, really fun puzzle to solve but I thoroughly enjoyed figuring out how to solve this again. Um, I guess it took me about, what, 45 minutes um, from picking it up in its fully scrambled state to be being solved, so it wasn't horrendously bad, but it certainly offers a challenge um, compared to what you'd normally get with a 4x4, so yeah, if you like your shape mods and things, I definitely recommend this one, you, you, you're definitely going to challenge yourself if you haven't solved one like this before, that's for sure, um, because you certainly can't go about it the way you would a regular 4x4. Um, okay then guys, I, I will mention slightly um, how I went about solving it, just in case anybody's interested. But So if you if you don't want to hear anything about how I solved it, then please turn off the video now. I don't want to spoil anybody's fun. Okay, so because you can't kind of build up centrepieces um, like you would on a regular 4x4, I mean normally you'd sort of like match up your colours on the centres first, wouldn't you? If you're doing a standard 3x3 three three reduction method, then you match up the edges, then you put your corners in place. Your corners are irrelevant to a large extent, um, because they can go anywhere on the puddle, because they don't have any um, bearing on what this whole state looks like with these 2x2 like, two two turns, and they've got no orientation, because they are you know, the same in every direction, they are equilateral triangles. So you don't need to have to rotate them properly, you don't have to put them in the right position. So, basically I built up around those, I'd put the edges in place around each corner, um, but very much similar to the way I'd kind of solve in a uh, bandaged AI cube actually. And then I've got a commutator that I, use for, I can use for moving centres around, and I basically built up blocks of three centres on four colours that was left me with the top layer and kind of worked my way around solving all the centrepieces on the final few blocks. That was kind of the longest process part of it at the end of it there, getting the last few in place. I'd quite often end up with a situation where I only had two unsold, which obviously is impossible, but yeah, with a bit of thought it was easy enough to kind of figure out exactly what I needed to do. So yeah, uh, if you like this kind of thing, I'd definitely recommend this puzzle. I, I had a lot of fun solving this one and I'm sure I will um, solving it again in the future. Alright then guys, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care now. Bye.